It's beer o'clock on Me Little Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from Fuller's. It's part of their Fuller's and Friends range of beer. This one's brewed with Hard Knock Brewery and it's called Peat Super. It's 7% ABV and it's been brewed to kind of celebrate even though it's not a very, it wasn't a very nice thing. Industrial London, all of the smoke, the smog, they used to call it on a foggy day a peat super. You know, it was like yeah, almost the peat and the smoke when the smog was burning your eyes and filling your lungs with all sorts of rubbish. So they brewed this beer together with Fuller's and Hard Knock Brewery. There's a look at the bottle cap. Let's get the beer out into a glass and see what we get. Ooh, look at the smoke on the opening. Wow. Beer in the glass then. And I suppose the first thing, well, of course, the first thing is to look at the beer. So we have, it's developed quite a big four finger tan coloured head it's a really deep dark black really mahogany dark mahogany coloured beer uh, let's get the aroma on the beer I'm getting the aroma in it yeah you're getting the peat you're getting the smog you get a bit of the chocolate malt coming through There's a bit of plum and fig in the back end. It's not too bad in the aroma. Well, for the style of beer, it's actually very nice. I was going to get to that in a moment. It's just, it's just. I think to myself, when would I ever buy like a smoked porter? It's very rare. Them types of beers for me generally stay on the shelf. It's not something that I generally buy. I appreciate it as a beer reviewer. I can pick up the roasted malt. I can pick up the smoke and the the peaty flavours um, but it's I suppose going into the review I'd like to share with you guys it's not my style of beer it's not something that I, I would act actively go out and buy but in terms of style it smells spot on a little bit of raisin a little bit of plum a little bit of fig peat smoke bacon crispy bacon let's dive in cheers Yeah, it's full on. It's a proper smoky, yeah, it's probably, I feel like singing where they're dancing on the chimney pots in Mary Poppins, you know, what are they singing? I can't remember the song now. Dick Van Dyke with his, with his brush, and he's all black, you know, it's that, it tastes like that. Oh, um. Big, peaty, smoky. It just envelops your palate. It just, it just takes over, really. Um, I mean, if you, what would you eat? I, 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 some, I, I suppose some really, if you were to eat something with this beer, it would have to be probably some really strong cheddar, just to cut through the smoke of the beer. Or maybe some frazzles, you know, the bacon frazzle crisps maybe some of them just to pair up with this beer and for the style of beer for what it is for what they brewed for the people who like this type of beer i think you will be pleasantly surprised and pleasantly happy with this this beer And I, I suppose I like the historical aspect of it. I like the fact that they've done a little bit of research into, into I suppose, being a Londoner, you're going to know. The, the guys at Fuller's are going to know all about the peat supers. They're probably still talking about it to this day. But generally, I like the, the history aspect of it. I like the fact that they're kind of touching base with one of London's famous days, really, that, that was more... 
it was it was kind of happening all the time and people didn't like it. It was famous for not being very nice. Oh. Pardon me. But that's a quick look at Pete Super. As I said, you can probably see the expre expression on my face. I'm not a massive fan of real smoky beers, if I'm perfectly honest. Um, I think what got me, I was in Poland last year, and it was a lot of like smoked IPAs and smoked this. Poland was full of, for some reason, 2017, last year. Everything was smoked. IPAs, pale ales, and it was like, ah, no, no, I don't want to drink any more of this smoke stuff. And it's really kind of like put me off, I suppose. But again, if you like this style of beer, you won't be disappointed with this smoked porter, I suppose, or smoked stout. Yeah, it's a smoked porter at 7%. I'm going to rate it. I suppose for the style, I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10. Um, yeah, it's, it's very nice for what it is, uh, if you like a smoked beer. Please put your comments in the comments box, subscribe to our daily beer reviews, give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom! And cheers.